And welcome back, folks, to a brand new spanking new SGB Let's Play. We are your hosts, Matthew, Elliot, and Johnny. And welcome to our first, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Medieval for the PlayStation One. Let me look at look at my casing here. <laughs> <laughs> Released yeah. in the year of roughly 1998, we are going to play a humorous gothic fairy humorous gothic fairy tale from the grave. Oh, look, it's Shinnok. <laughs> That's a dead-on comparison, Elliot. I like, no, there's a difference. <laughs> There was a big battle between Zarok and Fortescue. Zarok was the black mage of the king who revolted because he was doing inhumane experiments. Okay. So there was a gigantic fucking war that occurred between Fortis between the king's men led by Daniel Fortescue and Zarok. Right. Fortescue got written down in history as a hero for having slain Kardok, Zarok, and bringing about an end of the war roughly single-handedly. This is a complete load of fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. I guess when you said Fortescue. Ooh. He was, the, he was one of the many descendants of Bortescu from Bort. <laughs> and there's our obscure Bort reference. We always make at least one. And that was Fortescu. <laughs> <laughs> but you can never fool the dead. Yeah. It, it, like his eye just inflated. He was the yeah. first one to go down. Like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> life bottles. Right. These are your basic heart containers. Fun fact. You run out of life, you're dead. Game over. But your life bottles give you a second go at it. <laughs> You're dead. Again. Yep. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's what basically... But basically, your levels are going to consist of going to all the worlds, filling up your chalices, and somehow saving the world in the process. So it's like getting a good ending, then? Yeah. <laughs> I am so grateful you didn't choose to say happy ending. Where's <laughs> <laughs> he now? We are going to Cemetery Hill. Cemetery Hill? Yes. Because, you know, unlike a lot of normal people who would like to try to run away from danger, Fortescue meets it head on. And gets hit by an arrow. <laughs> I don't know why, but he reminds me of King Ramsey's from Courage the Cowardly Dog. I liked how earlier off the off the clock you asked what Courage the Cowardly Dog was, and yet you know King Ramsey's. Hmm. King Ramsey's. <laughs> I don't know why, but those, the tan ones remind me of Life Cereal. I don't know why. I was gonna say kicks. That's what yeah, I was kicks, go for. kicks. Ow! It, it's weird. Bone is stronger than Boulder. Kicks. Corpse one, rock zero. Kicks. Kid tested. Forescu does not approve. <laughs> Forescu can approve. He has no jaw. <laughs> no Can't tip. even give a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Those little fuckers right there. The ones doing the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your sticky little bandits. Hey Johnny, can you come into like a clip of Marv saying, We're not the wet bandits, we're the sticky bandits! <laughs> I was actually thinking of all below when I saw a sticky figure bandits. Let's go save the Phantom of the Opera. Have you ever tried beating this game without getting any upgrades? That, that's not fun to me in a way. Oh, okay. Hey, no. Don't you know I love you? Apparently, that's good enough to send into the afterlife. These ghosts have real low expectations of what they want. You know who's real badass? Julius Belmont. Yes. I, thought you, I like Simon more. Julius <laughs> put that fucker down once and for all. But he doesn't remember how he did it. How do you not remember how you killed someone? You would think. You well, were. after he sealed Dracula into the solar eclipse, he lost his memory. Huh. So, if anything, how did he know he really did it in the first place? He, because the history will tell you. But then again, that sort of bastardizes this yeah. game. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, <laughs> we're looking at an exaggerated hero right here. By the way, folks, that's not the only heart attack we're going to be seeing, pardon the pun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hi, hi. That's his only non heart attack. <laughs> stroke, stroke, stroke. <laughs> and hopefully this will be it. Cyanar, shithead. Okay, now this heart attack's fatal. Hey, here's another pun. Heartbreak. That's a second pun. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? That's going back to the crypt? We're going, no, we're going back to Dan's crypt. Oh, of course. I was looking for another dead Dan. Can you imagine, like, some zombie just sleeping up there? Hey, get out of my crib, buddy! Uh, there's some other undead asshole here that tells bad puns. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Matelli, fuck. 
<laughs> Matthew Michael Matelli. Oh, um, I was going for Tales of the Crypt reference, but okay. Oops. <laughs> What's this? We're going to return to the graveyard. Ooh, the shrine of the, the silver, silver monkey. monkey. <laughs> Relax, folks. We won't have any of those puzzles to put together in this game. <laughs> no, for headless zombies, they have a good idea of where the hell you are. Yeah, seriously. It's not even making an assumption that you could be behind it. They're like aliens. They can tell. That's just bad writing. <laughs> I just pissed off the dead, apparently. <laughs> that was my hand. <laughs> that was my mother's hand! Oh, fuck you! No, I think they may be angry that you just raided their wallet. <laughs> Ugh, my one coin! This is my entire life savings! Now we fight wolves. Shit, a little more annoying in the remake. Dude, the Here, they're still just sleeping. They come after you. Oh, uh, Peter's gonna get pissed off. Who? Peter. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, Peter. Peter, 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 Peter. Local wildlife group kills 49 people, saves two rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> That's goop. Or water. Retard. The dead have a huge buoyancy problem. Fall in the water, minus one life. You sink Bob. like fucking rocks. What? You. No, you sink like a skeleton in heavy armor. <laughs> Asshole. <Is it> <laughs> yeah. Where do the afterlife go in the afterlife? They go to zombie fiction. No, they go to Stephen King. I'm pretty sure Stephen King ain't even touching <laughs> zombies at this point. So they go to Maine? Or George Romero. <laughs> Here was something. Oh, here's a zombie. Just kicking my ass. Block button? Yeah, I know about that. What about it? <laughs> oh, there we go. That seems to be effective. It's super effective. There's your Pokemon reference. <laughs> sure. We could go to the Enchanted Earth or the Scarecrow Fields. We should go to the Scarecrow Fields. No, if we going go to the Enchanted Earth. Now, if we go to the Scarecrow Fields, are there, is there fear gas in there? Funny, no. <laughs> so what's the deal with the nematodes? Well, Doug came here one day yelling "Kurlukuku," really pissed off all the toads. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a coven of witches. Yeah. Oh fuck you. <laughs> mortar, mortar plant. A mortar can be a plant too. Oh yeah, no plants can be mortars. Apparently, into the great scheme of life, we are told that you can be anything you want to be when you grow up. Apparently, plants have that idea too. <laughs> what are you trying to do here? That's horrible. Now, now we commit. Now, now chickens and birds have ab abortions all the time. We call but, them omelets. But that's not what's... It, it lays treasure chests. Yeah. And copper shields. I, I, I dread what's in this one. The earth, earth room. room. It shed out an earth room. <laughs> It ate some poor adventurer from from years past. Well, I, I'm I'm actually glad we did it a favor. Instead of being horribly oh, fuck you. <laughs> instead of being horribly disappointed, saying those eggs hatch into something that's completely not of her species. You know, you you ended up taking it from her. Sort of like telling an adopted mother that she's wrong for having a kid that's not hers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh god damn. Uh, side quest. It's time for some optional side quests! Didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? Now hurry back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cool. Smith. Welcome to the ant caves, an actual labyrinth. Are these ant caves like the ones from the from Bugs Life? Haha, <laughs> no. Uh oh. <laughs> Either the fairies are really that small, or they just got bullied by a fucking ant. Or <laughs> they f smoke a fuck ton of Newport. <laughs> this is gonna make me sound really sadistic, but when I was younger, I used to love to torture ants. Yep, that made you sound sadistic, alright. <laughs> no, Dare I say psychopathic. Like, they say cruelty to animals or insects is the first sign of a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. It is true, actually. Yeah, and I, I like how you're not even trying to defend yourself. But like, th this is what I did. I see an ant. No, I would describe the methods of torture I did to the ants. <laughs> Look, this is literally First, right. there was the magnifying glass. <laughs> no, I didn't use that method. I didn't use then that. Then there was the oxycodone. I didn't. I don't even know what but, that is. But then I found there was no better method for it than a good old Timberland. <laughs> this is literally what I did. I step on it, let it walk a little bit. It's limping. Just wait. Step on it again. How did you not kill an ant with one stomp? And then I injected it with bleach. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, and if it was still walking, I would still step on it. How do you then the magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the magnifying glass, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'm frankly rather sad for you that it took you more than one foot stomp to kill an ant. <laughs> You ever you ever put Buzzy you ever put a Daddy Long Legs? I was about to say Buzzy Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> There's that meme again. Anyway, now let's change topics here from Elliot's God Elliot Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what are those anyway? Ants. The white things? Ant larva. You see Elliot's killed so many ants in his childhood, they all just start to blend <laughs> in after a while. Their lives are no more significant than the next. <laughs> Somewhere out there, an etymologist is crying. Six fairies total, you have five. Yeah. I can count. <laughs> <laughs> I always found it fascinating how ants could actually pick up more than they weigh. You realize that's still, like, not really a whole lot. Which is? Pretty much the size of a fucking potato chip. Which is? I don't know, how much a potato chip weighs. That's not something I give it to memory. Was it, like, an ounce or something? Probably. Hey, how much does an ounce of gold weigh? I don't know. <laughs> Our American school system is the worst. I remember the ant genocide. He was a madman, swilling, swinging that hammer wildly. <laughs> I live to tell the tale. You live to tell the tale because you're the killer, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the twist of the story. It's told from the killer's perspective. <laughs> There's gonna be a that'll spawn a fan fiction, I guarantee you. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing. When I was younger, I always thought ants would take over the world. What? I don't know why. I always thought ants would take over the world one day. Wait, you're giving me a paradoxical train of thought here. You were afraid <laughs> ants would take over the world, so this, you kept killing them. Now? This was when I was young. <laughs> this was when I was younger. <laughs> they will start a revolution one day. I tell you, <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> I would, it would be the cause of the revolution. <laughs> And, and we are all asking, why don't you block that? Because my shield's about to go. Yep. Indicated by white Your shield's only giving you 18%. That's yeah, quitter talk for my shields. Not with that attitude. Ellie's gonna try to pep talk a shield. <laughs> <laughs> you can deflect that attack. Yes, you can. And it is dead. You ever read the little engine that could? You are the little engine that could. <laughs> That's some philosophical shit there, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> that is just... That's just crazy. I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> Let me take one more puff of this cigarette. <laughs> this Let's Play brought to you by Marlboro Cigarette. Marlboro. Oops. Wait. This is Marlboro? Did you say Marlboro? <laughs> yeah. I <did>. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Give you bad breath. <laughs> Wait, this is, these are Marlboro cigarettes? Oh, I want a Newport! <laughs> Who smokes Newport? Everybody. Yep. Yeah. What am I saying? I don't even smoke. I can't make that. <laughs> Nick Why Nick. is he laughing at us? <laughs> Nick Nick Paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. Why did you sing that damn song? It was in a Batman comic. Doesn't mean it goes here. It seems like I'm being a little more conservational than I should by going back to the small sword, but I really rather save that big sword when I want it. When still I have to enough it. to get the bus back home. <laughs> Wait, they take broadswords as payment? <laughs> Two fifty. It's not enough for the bus back home. How about I strike you with my broadsword? Will that get me back home? A uh, block. Oh. Out of all the medieval themes you've been running into, this thing really sticks out. <laughs> Oh, wait till we get to the Zarok Slayer. He uses a brand new science never before seen called. Actually, damn it, I fucked up my joke. <laughs> he uses a new brand I new science. I think magic the punchline was science. Yeah. Oopsie. The Something cool. went wrong. What? Unless I missed it. Oh. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> get lost, you fucking crows. <laughs> you dick! <laughs> uh, you're gonna pick your eye out. Hey, what's this do? Drumstick. <laughs> Turns into a healthy dinner. <laughs> Short your health. You got roast chicken. I just like that dig sound. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, ding, ding, order up. <laughs> hey, Johnny. 
<laughs> Do you think during this little tidbit here, you could put in like the Legend of the Hidden Temple music? Why? Temple run? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here? Yeah. For how long? I'm not sure if I could fight an instrumental version of it without any background noise. Fuck. These are hard to avoid for me. Patience will win you the day, but you know me. I'm not a patient man. I, I was actually gonna tell you that you could just use that, but I just see that it's bigger than it's large. It's bigger than the other ones. The correct answer would be I could have walked. <laughs> Harvester part. Now we gotta go back through this. What's the harvester part? It's, it's part a, of it's a harvester. A har the harvester. Oh, what's a harvester? You use it to harvest stuff. Oh. Elliot learns a lot. That, in this that just doesn't. That just doesn't help. That's death in the middle, as you can no doubt tell. Oh, of course. Oops. Oh, temple guard. <laughs> <laughs> Now in perspective, in perspective here, I pretty much kicked my ass, but I deserved it. Whoops. Alright, and we're out of the temple. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where do I win? Kodak camera. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Back to the temple? Yeah, the temple of agriculture. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, Fortescue just winced at your joke. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You know, if I'm actually overlapping the business, this comes incredibly redundant. What? Elliot humming the temple theme. Oh, you see, you just ran out of life points. Life points? Well, the life Yeah, I know, that was my fault. I ran into a blue-eyed white dragon. Anyway. <laughs> Shut up, man. Um, it'll come back, though, if you replay the level. So, like I said, that's, this is one thing this game did right over its uh, sequel, Medieval 2. What, there? You, you lose them and they're gone forever? Yeah. Jeez. So you can end up in a dead game. I hate that. It's like that one part in Final Fantasy V where I got stuck. Ah. Which was? Library. Everybody hates the library in Final Fantasy V. I wasn't exactly ready for the Biblos fight, so... And I couldn't go back. Step inside and understand that true horror of root gone bad. Never thought you'd see a gargoyle in, on a tree. Anyway. Godzilla, king of the monsters. It's a lie. That would be a hell of a find in a pumpkin patch. <laughs> Gangly. Oh, that's how you spell buffoon. How did you think it was spelled? B-A-F-F-O-O-N. Beefloon? That's bad food. <laughs> no, he said B E A F L O N. No, no I said B A. No, I said B A. Oh. But now I know how he's not. Now I know how you spell buffoon, which really so I could have went on Google and, you and looked it know. up. <laughs> <laughs> which really I could have been on Google and check check it, but okay. Yeah, Google would have spell checked it for you. Did you mean buffoon? Dumb at you buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for Pumpkin George. That asshole keeps sweeping the competition. <laughs> <laughs> and that pumpkin stand. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? No, I'm going the right way. God damn it, I hate these. These are the early day elevators. Which really defeats the purpose if you're doing all the work yourself. <laughs> Fortescue like wishes he had a ladder. If only there was a several way to go up instead of just running in circles entirely. <laughs> Maybe he gets dizzy enough he doesn't even realize he's not going up. Or hell, he thinks he's going up. Maybe it's just one of those things that, like, you're, you're doing something and then, like, you forgot you're doing it. Like Let's Boys? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's good to take an enchanted broadsword to this place because it grips through these guys like a knife up through a pumpkin. Hey, oh! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How do they make pumpkin pie? That is a good question, actually. How do they make pumpkin pie? That's something you could look up on the internet. Because I couldn't tell you. I'm pretty sure I've well, forgotten I even asked this question by the time I get to editing this part up. Well, when you edit this so part I up, I will you'll... rely on the subscribers. Okay. <laughs> They'll tell you it comes from pumpkins. Uh, if anybody does that, they're getting a thumbs down. <laughs> they're getting banned. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> <laughs> It's like saying French fries come from France. Mushroom platform. <laughs> there you go, say French fries come from the French. <laughs> Dear God, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs>
What is that, the rune of time? Yes, it is, the time rune. Huh, I'll take a guess on that. You might have just saw a quick glimpse of it, but... Well, yeah, it kind of looks like an hourglass. It was running off Windows technology, the rune of now loading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for now. I'm waiting for like the apple ball rune. Oh shit! Oops. Rune of beach ball. And, and the beach ball looks like the one looks like the spinny, colorful desk from for Apple when yeah, it's loading. That's, that's, that's what we were talking about. We were talking about. Oh okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I missed the joke. <laughs> oh no! I did it again. <laughs> I did this all the wrong way. <laughs> I hope the mic caught that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> now what magical entity drags drags you out of the water? It's the life bottles. I... Okay. This is a game where you play as a skeleton slaying pumpkins. The game's form of god, I guess. Ah, the invisible Lakitu, you say. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't use a fishing rod, it uses the force. <laughs> that would be one badass minion in Bowser's army. <laughs> Yay. I got felt up by a plant. Vines. Plant. Vines. They're green. Yeah, all plants are green, don't you know? Not <laughs> all. Not all. Squash. It was a joke. <laughs> Some forms of apple. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, they could go from red to yellow. Just shut up. Okay. <laughs> it's time for the Hall of Heroes once again. He gets. How many times? How many times in total do you enter the, the Hall of Heroes? You won't believe this, but a lot. Anyway. You know, <laughs> that's a big number. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can do. <laughs> well, considering the fact he has one eye, okay. I can no longer get a boner, for I am a boner. <laughs> I am <walking> boner. <laughs> The Great Pumpkin exists! And Linus would shit his pants if he saw it today. Looks like a Big Mac. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, it does look. <laughs> but, with no <laughs> but with no cheese. Only The cheese is right there. I, th I was going to say mustard. What kind of mustard are you eating? I don't even eat mustard. Good lord, look at that secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to go to the sleeping village. Contrary to popular belief, we won't find Sleeping Beauty here. <laughs> Damn. Nor any of the inhabitants sleeping. I said it before and I'll say it again. Let's get medieval on this bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, oh. Get it? Uh -oh. Ow. Ow. Ah! Ah! Fuck! <laughs> I'm trying to help you, lady! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she knows or cares. She hits you with a frying pan. Yeah, she's person, man. Meanwhile, mm. let's go in the library. The Ganados before Ganados. Indeed. Ow! Ooh! Ooh, for those <laughs> <laughs> now these books, here's where we use our bust, but unfortunately we're missing an, we're missing a cross. The point of coming here, the silver shield. Why? Because maybe I like to fucking defend. <laughs> maybe I don't want to die early on in the game. Oh, that's just being ambitious, Elliot. Especially coming from you. <laughs> Look at all these rats. We're going to make the crucifix out of these rats. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no! <laughs> That's Son. just awful. And I talked about me torturing I like how ants. Elliot's laughing as he's ready to give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about torturing ants. You're going to talk about me using rats to make a cross. It stopped me from laughing like a fucking madman before. By the way, I also like to notice that neither of you two are exactly in the right with this. Landlord's Bust. Who's the landlord? I don't know, but I bet his name is Bust. <laughs> <laughs> Buster's Bust. Okay. Uh, These are the mooks okay. we kill. And they're Russian, so I guess that makes it okay. I think you sound just like me! <laughs> <laughs> this should be fun. Oh, Ellie, you have no idea how fucking exciting this is, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, pump it! Pump it more! Pump it! Pump it, pump it up and air it out. Oh, yeah. It. So what do you know, that popular, what do you know, that was an actually, the song was based off a method. Now <laughs> we have our crucifix. Pop it. Twist it. Shout it. Pump it. Pull it. Oh, oh. no, you don't. Ow. Tree. <laughs> tree hurt? I can't go through tree? <laughs> now we're at the mayor's house. There's a mayor? 2D sick left the middle of memos. <laughs> we're just, just 
we were just discussing the mayor for like the last five minutes, and you asked that question now. Good to know you're paying attention, Elliot. <laughs> Turn him into drumsticks. <laughs> He's going with my plan. Does it work? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this guy's nuts, but I love him. Drink deep of demon blood, my proud beauty. Now, is he talking to Fortescue or his axe? The axe, the axe. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's the asylum we're going to, but meanwhile, we gotta play through riddles. Riddles? Riddles. Ah, it's Arkham Asylum all over again. Our main goal here is to solve the dungeon by talking to Jack of the... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Get up on the Hydra's back! 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 Shut up! Trust the old axe, it always comes back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Captain America's shield. Or any boomerang for that matter. And there's your Avatar the Last Airbender reference, folks. What? Avatar the Last Airbender. Sokka's boomerang. Oh. Oh, I was just talking about your typical boomerang. It wasn't even an Avatar reference. You could have uh, said Legend of Zelda. Regular boomerang. I could have, couldn't I? Or an Australian. Final <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> an Australian? And then you get some sound effect like this, which is really weird. A great beast, I be. Yet vermin frighten me. An elephant? Bingo. You a know your riddles are bad if Elliot's getting them right. A ballpoint banana. <laughs> What? A no. ballpoint with venom? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck you just said. A ballpoint banana. Oh. Mm. Tasty. <laughs> hey! Get back here! You have to die! Cause I'm the hero! Trollus fodder! <laughs> Face me! Is that Oogie Boogie? Holy shit! Nah. Yeah, Oogie Boogie wasn't made of grass. <laughs> That is? I'm trying to think this, actually. Uh, Put it in the Jeopardy theme. <laughs> Let's see. Abide by the sun. Oh, yeah, I know you're just abide. I'm just, just, just wasting time until Matt finds out the fucking answer. No, I'm seriously trying to figure this out. I want to figure this out. Hey, by all means. A vampire? Close. Frankenstein? Darkness. Oh, okay. I'm not really a fan of any kind of maze, though. Ooh. In, in anything. Johnny has no. Johnny hates getting lost. <laughs> I, don't really know, I, don't, get... I don't know anybody that enjoys getting lost. That's a good point. Who enjoys getting lost? <laughs> Idiots. Well, I think we had. I think we had a good, fun, good jab at Ted getting lost. <laughs> I wasn't aiming at Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the boy alone. Yes, sir. Damn it! I forgot. You can't freaking go in the menu in these parts. And Fortescue's not even thinking anything of it, he's just like, Christ's sake, let me get back to my menu! <laughs> <laughs> now, are the chess pieces I like how they, I like how they react to pain. Pretty much. <laughs> I was like, ow! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the Medieval 2 website is still up. Really? Yep. Jesus. And when was Medieval 2 released? April 30th, 2000. Hmm. Twelve years. Okay, I can't find anything on the That makes me feel old as balls. Say what? I need food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Limited range. <laughs> Only two more, man. And suddenly this has become hilarious. <laughs> Just find me getting my ass kicked. Oh, man, come on. They only want to do the can-can with you. <laughs> sure, yeah, they'll can-can myself, my ass to oblivion. <laughs> That's... That's, 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 I know, that's, that's the, the bar mitzvah theme. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jesus, oh, shit. Man. Oh, man. The second time I ever asked myself unconscious. And you're a music major. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Elliot plans a bar mitzvah. He plays the can can theme. <laughs> This is for you, son. 
<laughs> oh! I'm sorry, that's the remake! What? The remake, you gotta come do this twice. We're fine, we only gotta oh, be here once. Oh. Remake, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're done at the ways of the branching paths, let's go down the one track path. So, where are we going? The Enchanted Earth. See? You don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Ah, not so, again! We'll just watch this cutscene again for the hell of it. Can't skip it. Yeah, you can skip it, I just didn't want to. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can just skip Filler! it. Filler! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You need to press... Fire. Fire, earth, water, wind. I wonder why I never got it right. They, they put it in backwards. They totally missed their chance at an obvious earth, wind, and fire reference. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> earth, wind, and fail. <laughs> Well, that's the parody band. <laughs> <laughs> Money? I think I just looted the um, Gravekeeper's <laughs> fortune. Hey! Why would it be gold? He's gonna be pissed when he gets back, I'll tell you that much. He got robbed He got robbed by the dead. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> <laughs> I know it'll pick us all up. How about a boss fight? Boss fight! Damn! <laughs> That's your cue, guys! <laughs> Get excited! Woo! Into the mouth? <laughs> you guys you can say we got eaten. Now off to the hall of the heroes. Tee hee. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna ruin my fun today? <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a break. Oh no. And we'll meet. Oh, oh uh, okay, I know what's coming up. Shit. Okay. We need a break. We'll be yeah, right back. Yeah, we, we definitely gonna need a break after yeah. what's coming up next, so. I'm gonna go off screen and grind for health. Be right back. See you after these messages. From Benford Tools. <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> Our goal right there is the gladiator helmets, which are supposed to represent the spirits of the dead who passed on. Barrel me. You gotta take it. <laughs> you got a chaos room. No chaos control jokes. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to make one. No, I'm just saying. Explosive well, blast. Oh boy. Oh, what a waste. Whoa. Oh, oh son of treasure chest, you betrayed me. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why Fortescue only has one eye, right? Yeah. Is because he lost the other eye when he got hit in the arrow with the arrow. Yes. But when he regenerates, he gets an eye back. So what's stopping the other eye from regenerating? No, damn. <laughs> it's a dick. It's a dick. <laughs> Xerox's a dick. <laughs> yes, Xerox is a dick. Oh shit, yeah, shit. there's another bomb. Can you jump? God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, that would be the pizza for my fingers. The grease afterwards really <laughs> fucked up my motion. Confound these bombs, they drive me to drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is the jump. The jump. Oh, yeah, I remember this jump. The one you fucked up on a lot. No, oh, there you go. You got on your first try. Da -da -da -da! Time to go! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was out of where I was in Japan. At this point, you really wish there was a cheddar chest bomb. Yeah, yeah. don't we all? It's like it's reverse. Like, there are points you don't want it, but there are other times you do want it. And most often or not, they're there when you don't want them. Yeah, pretty much. Much like the cops and a pair of, and a pair of great tits when you're married. <laughs> Dick! <laughs> oh, let's face it, married men get that shit more often than single men. Oh, hell, just guys and couples. They're all like, I found the woman of my dreams, and then big, ju big, juicy pair comes up, and they're like, damn it! <laughs> and that's why you don't have a date. Because <laughs> I'm a dick! What? Uh, oh. Harpies. Harpies? Harpies? Technically, that's what they call them in the remake. Two fire hours puts them out. So By not fire, not... you mean orange smoke. Huh? By fire, you mean orange smoke. Yeah. It's not fire. No, it's when he's when he's hit him with it, it, it sets him on fire. It's magical fire. <laughs> God, Johnny, what happened to your sword of sorcery, love? Where's your I can't magic? recall Where's last your... time I played a game where I was using swords and sorcery. Where's your magic the gathering side? <laughs> you just played Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> it's a key. Totally different. Oh. Oh, right, look at that. Footprint midair. <laughs> That's a really dense air. <laughs> that it's, the, it's because it's the air of the dead. Yeah. That gravity is crazy. Dead air? 
Oh dead, shit! No dead space. No dead air. Dead space is a good pun though, all the same. You want, you want to make this crash three? Oh no, Elliot! If I wanted to make this crash three, you'd be playing it. You'd probably die in the damn crypt. You would die in dead's crypt. How do you die in dead's crypt? You'll hey, find a way. You'll find a way, dude. Wait, that was pretty fast. How'd you know I wanted these already? <laughs> it's like I have clairvoyance. Before, Hank, could you drop me off at the Hall of Heroes? Ah, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> that wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> Wait, where's this Hall of Heroes you speak of? That's a good question for the group boatman, actually. <laughs> Can you even get there by boat? <laughs> <laughs> we just fall down a pit and got here, why not? <laughs> now, we pretty much have the best sword. Mm -hmm. Is there, like, a best club, best shield, or... Yeah, the best club is the hammer. The best shield is the gold shield. And the best ranged weapon technically would be the magic longbow. Magic longbow? Yeah. It's magic. <laughs> woogie, woogie, woogie. woogie. <laughs> no, I said it's magic, not electric. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the way out of the level. Unfortunately, we don't have the star room. Besides, we're nowhere near done here yet. Ow, oh, fuck. That's just an asshole. Slash him when you see him. Hey, you're not done. Get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Worst to be you too, jerk. And I pro eh. Oh shit. <laughs> well, I'm about to get hurt. There's probably only so many pineapple fish. Fuck! What, what are you doing? It's the camera, not me. Oh, I'm doing a four school. Welcome to Jarcross. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, this is the only level where we really gotta be on hands and knees. Or, you know, alert. There was that word I was looking for. There was that word I was looking for, and there I go, faster to lead the flag. Uh, what was it again? <laughs> I see you. And you look delicious. Uh, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's two of them. That's two chickens. Only need 23% less. 20. They will, they'll, they will tell tales of this great... They will tell great tales of this between a man and his chicken. What <laughs> well, makes it better? There's four of them, so yeah. Okay, well you get enough for your chalice now. By the power of chicken. <laughs> I now have a new appreciation for that movie, Soul Food. <laughs> it's in here. Money. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, no, Matt. That's three feet of water. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Fuck our needle moment. Yeah, what the hell? Money. I'm greedy. Take my life, just not my money. You greedy little whore. Oh, Elliot, who told you? <laughs> Star room here? Oh, wait, we go. But first... The Hall of the Justice League. I mean, all of heroes. <laughs> and welcome to the Crystal Caves. The guys at Caverns. <laughs> I'm suspicious. Are those herpes or shadow demons? I thought you said herpes. <laughs> what the hell? Well, they do come back like herpes, so yeah. <laughs> Damn it, he's right. <laughs> rhino tars. Half rhino, half minotaur. Oh, of course. <laughs> I thought you were going to say half rhino, half tars. <laughs> <laughs> Take oh, it's a disco! Disco death! Ow! Wait, Disco hurt you? Disco Inferno. <laughs> Look at his oh, ass. my face! <laughs> I, think that, I think the face will be the least of his problems. Very impressive just... sword tactics, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least impressive dragon voice I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Well, that's our down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a good hiding. <laughs> Boy, am I glad they go extinct the medieval too. Anyway. <laughs> right now you are fucking Zeus. <laughs> I can see Zeus having this kind of sword too. 
But now I gotta watch out for some really angry white guy with a few red marks on his body. Well, it looks like it looks like the blade of Olympus from God of War, and you have and you have lightning. Yikes! Son of a bitch. You're so medieval was a prototype God of War. <laughs> I'll be asked if it was. Lightning, lightning. How about lightning? Show the lightning. Come on. Show, Show the lightning later. You know, I'm pretty sure the lightning is probably the only the thing. The lightning is not it. going to hurt it. Okay, it was, I was just asking. <laughs> no, you were suggesting like that. You I fucking swear. dick. Asshole, Johnny. Asshole. <laughs> I was like, Johnny, I'm telling you the lightning's not going to hurt it. <laughs> now, I feel this is rather an obligatory question, but if you attack the chickens, will they all Die? attack you on mass? No. Would have been a nice little touch, though, and a good homage, but they don't do anything. It'll be like the chicken club from Link to the Past. That's what I was getting at, Elliot. Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> Kid! Kid! That was close. Hold it, there's a, there's a straggler. <laughs> there's oh, always we got that, a badass here! There's always, that one person that wait, there's always that one person that waits last. But the magic sword makes these things complete and total jokes. Chomps pretty much goes out the damn door with the magic sword. That's why you got it, because you hate being challenged. <laughs> yes, I am a total bitch. And you need to get on my shit for playing normal mode on Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> well, that's there's a difference between being a bitch and being an outright pussy. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> Silver shield. Nice. I wonder where the treasure chest goes when it skyrockets. To the moon. To the void. No, you know how like we have a hall of heroes here. There must be one for treasure chests. <laughs> This here be Fantasquish. This here be King Pedigreen's crypt. Unfortunately, we don't have the means of summoning him. What the fuck? This is king? this had to be like the most morbid king ever. Well, how exactly did he die? I imagine Zarok got something to do with it. Ouch! It's always Zarok, isn't it? It all goes back to Zarok. He's the bad guy. Even though we haven't really been seeing him do anything bad. <laughs> Come to think of it, after the sleeping village, we've been collect correcting our own mistake. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Good God, Fortescue. What's happened to your jaw? Sounds <laughs> like he's crying about it. Bad luck, old man. Oh, fuck no. you. <laughs> Here's what you gotta do. I do like that little heat distortion going on there. Yep. And we're out. You catapulted yourself out? I catapulted <laughs> myself right out to the Hall of Heroes. You crashed through the ceiling. <laughs> I teleport. I don't know how that works. Apparently I blow up in midair and then just find myself <laughs> back here. The next level is the ghost ship. Wait till we see how we get here. <laughs> it's still active left, we're still catapulted. <laughs> <laughs> there goes that worm. Oh, we're going to Cloud City. <laughs> Back to the Hall of Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon was 100% one chalice right there. <laughs> <laughs> the obligatory pirates. <laughs> oh, yeah. What the? What the cloud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, it's the first time I've ever seen that in this game, too. Cannons. My god. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 by the foot. <laughs> Thank God I at least died. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I now feel your pain, Elliot. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. Oh, and that's what I get for being sympathetic for you. <laughs> oh, you're using a life bar with a wazoo in this place. Don't worry, the boss is piss easy. Oh, okay. Well, at least now you can get your chalice. Some small consolation. <laughs> <laughs> I lost all my prized possessions and all of my family, but look at this chalice. <laughs> Do you think he'd get the common sense to stop walking around there? He doesn't. Hmm. Can't tell if cannonball or mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> That's one angry bug. One more hit. 
Ow. Oh, come on. Ellie was so hoping we'd be done. <laughs> yes, I actually was! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck that is you. interesting. Yeah, I feel it, yeah, it's like an interesting ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> my hand is clipping through my shield. That's how good his shield is. I clip right through it. <laughs> Intangible. <laughs> he was driving the ship the whole time. Well, there are no more pirates there, and I'm, I'm apparently in the middle of the ship, so yeah. I can't be staring it too well. <laughs> he wills it. <laughs> By the, by the power of what's left of my brain. <laughs> the ship knows better. There you go. The ship's on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Not us, that's for sure. Oh, well, fuck you. <laughs> to the other way to get the... What the hell? Those are called stairs, Matt. No, no, no. I mean, the... what's that motif on the floor there? Oh, Saturn. <laughs> Pizza Planet, yay! <laughs> <laughs> and now... It is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with reading. Hundred years I've spent in exile using my anger to keep me warm, feeding off my suffering, relaxing with my angst. But soon they will pay all of them, including Fortescue. It's lost my first part in the Congo Galamel that posthumously claims to have killed me. When I find him, I'm going to get medieval <laughs> on his body behind. I never and liked I him anyway. Always, always hanging around the court. court and bearing, and where, where are you going, going with that, that dead cat, cat Zarek? Where, where did, did you find, find that brain, Zarek? Richard Busybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Uh, I've wasted time getting into Zarek's past and card tricks. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. That would be, be one of his moves, using card tricks. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, 52 pickup. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have eight light bottles. Ah, ah, ah. Now we need nine. Congratulations, Elliot. You can count. <laughs> hey, check it out. Time flies. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Apparently I fell in between the goddamn pendulum what? killing machine. Turn the camera, man. It's bad when I got Elliot telling me that. <laughs> uh, 7.15. Fuck. Wow. 7.15? Yeah. It looked like 3.35 to me. Let's see if you're good. 3.35, my fault. Seven you got 7.15 out of that guy. That was my fault. I, I'm always, I this always... is why all of your clocks are digital. <laughs> 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 that clock was doing nothing but minding its own business. You I kicked hit, my own ass. You got hit by the slowest moving arm ever. You fall down the basic pit. And I drown in Angel Island. You contradicted yourself! Alright, guys. Hold. 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 Bye. <laughs> I am Reptar. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> ow, shit! Damn, stay inside! Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> so, what happens when you, when you go on it and then, like, you didn't put the rune on it? You would, it would slam into the thing and you'd take a little damage. Huh. Probably, I probably should have shut that off. But you won't show off the lightning spell. <laughs> I'll show it off. Make, <laughs> mark, mark my word, dude. Is that why you're being such a sour puss on this playthrough? Because I'm not using lightning. <laughs> oh, shut up, Matt. <laughs> Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. I've finally been redeemed. So you get a statue? Oh, yeah. Wow. Can you imagine Fortescue actually getting a chalice marker here? What do I give myself? <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Looking good, I know. I love what you did with your jaw. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Is it time, time to, to wrap it up? Alright, let's end this. Let's end this bitch. Oh, look out for Elliot here. What Elliot was saying there is that guys needed a curse word. <laughs> good luck, said Daniel Fortescue. Oh, now you got my bark, dickhead. <laughs> you got the good lightning. <laughs> because the last one was shit. <laughs> <laughs> despite the irony, of, despite if you can appreciate the irony or not, good lightning is kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs>
You always were fortunate in a battle for his skill. I don't Let think that arrow to the eye was fortunate. <laughs> fortunate. <laughs> and he's out. Alright, you see that? That was satisfying to me, Matt. That was. Are you gonna stop complaining now? No! I never complain, I just want you to show up. <laughs> I like this reaction. Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was a good run. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck. <laughs> I like how you can hear the squeak. Ouch! <laughs> That's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill me too. For the power of clipping. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to be king. <laughs> Fuck! I saw that coming. <laughs> he made a mess! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there was a physical hall of heroes. Okay, it's three miles off the sleeping village. Who knew? <laughs> and that, my friends, so now he's is the end of medieval. So now he's a constellation? <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a fucking constellation, it was a fucking nebula. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, that's the tale of medieval. What do you guys think? Pretty was, good. Yeah, it was, uh... Unfortunately, since... It's kind of dated, in my opinion. It's... I don't think it's something I would go out of my way to play. At my turn... At, you know, at my current state. Yeah, you know, for, for me, a lot of games in the PlayStation 1, I've had to have plenty of experience with when as I grew up with them. Uh, it's, I don't know, because I'm kind of real hesitant to pick up something that came out like 20 years ago because I never had a chance to play it then. Well, this is 12. So. Well, I, I'm just saying back in the generation. Yeah. Huh. I personally don't see myself going back to play this just for the sake of playing it. Because to me, I pretty much got everything I needed to with this Let's Play. Right. Well, I mean, be mostly because of the breaks we were taking in between, it felt like it was going a lot longer than it should. But for me, this is a good good example of a solid game in terms of brevity and wit. Like, normally it's four to five hours, It doesn't wear out, and it doesn't wear out as welcome. Like, when you're done playing with it, you're actually done with it for a while, you know? Which is actually a good thing for me in, in and of itself. And it's not a terribly hard game, so you don't really get lost within it. Yeah. It explains what you need to do, and you go out and do it. That's all it takes. The level design was quite fun, and a rather original given the take, and the art, and the art for me hasn't worn out. Admittedly, the graphics do look a little dated, but the artistic style and the attention is still good then. Well, so I've at, at this like time, that. at this day and age, all PS1 graphics are rather dated. Oh, yeah. So. What do you think, Elliot? It's definitely different from the PS1 games I played, to be honest. I could have sworn that was Pac-Man, but anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I thought it was really good. You know, the level design, you know, very original and very well done. For I wouldn't say original. But for, a, for like, kind of a dark game, it's really kind of colorful. You know, they actually use a lot of colors in this. Which is nice, given a gothic architecture game nowadays is like gloom, doom, and black and blue, and like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. This one is... I would say I, I would say more of gothic realism games do that nowadays. This is obviously trying to be more cartoonish. It's cartoonish with a bit of tongue-in-cheek humor. Yeah. Which works. Which works now, works. is it still as colorful in the PSP remake? Yeah, roughly. I mean, they do dial down... But the thing about the PSP, though, is that they try a little too hard to force the humor. And it just feels, and it feels like it's not quite as memorable for it. <laughs> Here's looking at you, champ. I mean, later down the road, I would love to see maybe like Medieval Two. Well, I mean, besides that, I'm talking about like another medieval game released later on. I would too. I think it needs more combat mechanics. I'm not gonna lie, and more abilities that Fortescue can use, because it is. It's not just an action game; it's also a platformer. Right, Medieval and 2 does give a few more for The that. only acrobatic upgrade you get is the Daring Dash. Well, there, there's not much more of that changing in Medieval 2. I mean, they do try to experiment a lot more with Medieval 2. Yeah. But once again, I'm going to say the only problem I had with it was the fact that you can end up in a dead game. Yeah. But other than that, though, it's a really solid game. These are really solid adventures for me. 
they don't wear out their welcome, and they just play just fine, really. Yeah. Then Evil 2 does away with more of the horror, well, some of the horror elements, but it's more in 1886 London. Yeah. Okay. So until then, I'm Matt, that's Johnny, and there's Elliot. Thanks for watching, have a good night, and enjoy.